My paper is about a woman who many, many scholars know. Her name is Dina Pronicheva. If you ask any scholar of the Holocaust, they will, of course, know who she is. She's one of very, very few survivors of Babin Yar, um, the massacre of over 30,000 Jews in Kiev around this time in September in 1941. But what most people don't know is that she was also an actress. Um, and whenever that's mentioned, it's like a quirky biographical side note, but actually it's really important to her. She was a professional, well-established, well-known, well-connected actress in um, Kiev's puppet theater before the war. Um, and during the war, um, not only did her connections in theater help her survive, but actually she acted in Ukrainian language theater under Nazi occupation for about two years, when theater became for her a space that was very dangerous um, at some points, but also was a space of survival. And so my paper really looks at her as a theater woman, not just as someone who survived Babin Yar, but um, as this sort of long story of survival. Um, and I'm looking at the ways that that shapes our understanding of Ukrainian theater history, which is that the Jewish experience is really, really important. And actually kind of looking at the Holocaust helps us understand Ukrainian theater under occupation. But I'm also looking at the ways that thinking of her as an integral part of Ukrainian theater history actually shapes our understanding of Jewish theater history, that um, although Yiddish theater was shut in 1950, Jews who survived the Holocaust and came back to work must have shaped um, the post-war uh, theatrical landscape in Soviet Ukraine. And finally, I'm really interested in her as a woman and in her body and the ways that her body survived the war. In her testimony, she mentions physicality many, many times. Um, her feet, her body, her arm, um, and uh, I think that attention to the body is really important and adds to our understanding of theater and violence and the importance of paying attention to the physical experience of war.